Well, um, here's a couple of examples. Uh, this one, first of all, uh, uses list, and uh, the next one will use map. And it's just a few simple little examples to show you how to use these things, list and uh, map. And um, I've had to cram this up a bit. Um, obviously, uh, it's not the ideal sort of layout, but I've had to squash it up a bit to get the entire program onto this uh, page here. Now, um, it's important to to see how things are, were used in the past, um, how this stuff, all this non-generic stuff works, because it will provide the motivation for, for um, uh, showing you where generics comes from and, and the reason for putting it in. Okay, so let's just uh, take a look at this to begin with. Um, what we've got here is uh, this list here um, is static, there's no point in having it as an instance variable, uh, called secret, and uh, it's done as an array list, and um, I put uh, some secrets in here, uh, 2243, um, which is uh, has been added in as uh, as strings there, st strings there, and um, uh, that's secret of course because it um, 2243 is uh, used to be my old phone number actually, and uh, down here we've got another uh, list here which is a uh, guess, and um, the idea is. Um, when you run the program, you do Java test, and you enter in uh, four numbers, and it will tell you how many you found, and how many are you not only found but are also in the right position. So as you can see from this, it's uh, two, two, four, three. So you found three of them, and uh, two of them, those two, two, and those two there, are in the right position. So you can see the idea there. So uh, what do we do? Well, first of all, um, is main here and uh, this is where you're going to get strings from, of course. And so the first thing you do is you check to make sure that you've got the right number. So if the argument length here matches the length of uh, or size of uh, secret, uh, then you're fine. Otherwise, you print out uh, a message saying uh, that you have to enter the right number of numbers and uh, just return. So um, if we're here, we've got the right number. And what we do is um, we uh, go through um, uh, ping out each object from secret. And we can do this because we use this form of for loop because um, iterable is a super type of list, so you can use this type of for statement. And um, we pull out each one in turn, and uh, first thing we have to do is um, cast it to string because it's string that was put in there. And then we say, uh, does that equal the um, uh, argument that was passed in? We've set i to 0 here, so it's going to start with 0 and as you can see we're going to increment it as we go around. Uh, so if that is uh, true it will match and we increment the number of matches. The matches start off with 0, so they go up each time we find a match. And um, now while we're going around there we're also going to form this next array, array list here, of, um, of uh, uh, our guess. So each um, entry in there, the ith entry, is set to whatever that argument comes in. So we're forming this as we're going around to use it later. Okay, so now we've come out of there and we've done all the entries in the, gone through the whole secret and see what matches and what doesn't. We come round to here and we go all through secret again and uh, pull out each one in turn and we attempt to pass it to a string, of course and attempt to remove it from our guess that we formed here. And if that returns true, it means we succeeded in removing it, so it must have been uh, in the... Uh, it must be in there somewhere. So we increment has, has starts with zero there. And uh, once we've done all that, of course, we print out has um, whatever it is, uh, and uh, how many we've got uh, that match. And uh, that should be fairly straightforward. Now, a couple of things to point out. Um, now, uh, first of all, um, you'll notice here that we we deal all the time only with um, basically list. The only time that um, array list gets mentioned is in the constructor, and that's quite a general feature of um, uh, the collection stuff um, because it enables you if you decide you want to change things and. Maybe you think that um, a linked list might be better, or a vector. All you have to do is just uh, change that uh, constructor statement there, 
and everything else works just fine because it's all operating on lists. So generally speaking you write the code to the interface as it were. So you're only dealing with stuff that's in the interface, the list interface. And uh, and the only time that uh, you have to make some concrete decision about what sort you want is uh, when you do the when you uh, call the constructor there. And so that gives you a lot of flexibility. So if you um, decide later that um, maybe you want um, want it done differently, you just have to change that. And uh, the particular form you choose, of course, whether it's an array list or a vector or a linked list or whatever else it might be, is a, a decision that you make based on um, the way you're accessing it and is it um, is it uh, is it efficient to do it this way or not and so on. Uh, those are the sort of decisions that you have to use to, to decide which particular one is is best to use.